Would you be willing to donate your sperm to make some money? Yes. No way. Yeah, I don't have any problem. I'm not interested. For sure, why not? With the coronavirus pandemic still raging, more than 21% of people are out of work here in Israel. And lots of men are considering an option they may never have thought about before to make some money. Sperm donation. So how much can you actually make for your handiwork? At public hospitals, donors can earn around $1,300 a month in tax-free income if they donate twice a week. And private sperm banks pay up to $440 per donation, but that amount all depends on the quality of the donor's profile. So how does the process work? How do you even get approved? This is our correspondent, Yotam. So we're in front of a Suda hospital in Tel Aviv to see what the process looks like. This is the largest private sperm bank in Israel and they found suitable donors for over 16,000 couples and single women. So when it comes to Yotam, what do doctors need to know to see if he's eligible to donate sperm? We're taking history of his life, his education, what hobbies they have, what they are doing in life. We don't like donors above the age of 27. If he has any mental disorder, cancer in the family. If he is using drugs, how much alcohol he's taking. If he's ever smoker, how tall is he? If he's a nice guy, representative. When you say representative, you're talking about general look. Yeah, but you know, it's also very important his behavior, his weight. When I married my wife, my mom told me, look on her, on her mother, and you will know what you are going to get another 20 years. That's certainly a lot of pressure. And this list doesn't even include the fact that donors have to have nearly perfect sperm motility. In other words, sperm that moves and swims properly even after being refrigerated long term. At Asuta, only up to 30% of men who apply to be sperm donors are actually accepted. And in some sperm banks, even less. Will Yotam even make the cut? Nice How are you? you? I'm good. Let's go. Let's go for a tour. Yeah. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen in here. Ah. Here's the room. Okay, you will, I will give you a cup and then you will uh, go inside your room. Can I ask just uh, yeah. how long do you have? Uh, for <laughs> how much do you need, you know? No, but I don't know. Maybe there's like an opening. No, you know, no, don't have limit. No. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah. So what happens to all of this sperm once it's ready to go? This is a nitrous refrigerator. The, the temperature over here, it's minus 197. Oh. Careful, don't touch anything. Keep the hand there one wow. more second. How yeah. much sperm is inside here right now? Over here, we have about 10,000 vials. And how long will it last? Years. What happens if there's a sperm that's just never selected, the sad sperm? Always, even another five years or another 10 years, someone will come and will take him. Yeah, there's a match <laughs> there's for a everybody. Match for so if I was a prospective client coming here wanting to choose a sperm donor, I'd be given this very extensive database with the basic information about each sperm donor. So we're talking origin, uh, profession, body type, weight, height, hair texture, religion, the list goes on. Then if you're willing to spend the big bucks, you can actually pay to get sperm from abroad that will include pictures of your potential sperm donor as a child, also as a young adult. And sometimes you can even pay for voice recordings to see how the voice of your potential child would sound. All sorts of people come to sperm banks, whether it's married couples battling infertility, same-sex partners wanting to get pregnant, or single women who just want to have a baby. But what exactly are they looking for when it comes to choosing a sperm donor? The married couple will look on the husband, they would like a copy. So I don't need only bigs and blue eyes. I need also, let's say, normal. Short and bald. Yeah, singles. We look for healthy and well-educated. The bottom line is, no matter what the reason, choosing a sperm donor is a life-changing and emotional process, even if the person donating that sperm is just looking to make some extra cash. Choosing a donor is one of the most important processes that the woman will pass during her life. 
So we have to be 100% correct with them and to give them the best treatment that we are able.